Okay, Lucy's squad, so we are now ready for training. So what I need to do is just make sure you have warmed up first. So even if that is just one minute or so marching on the spot, and then we are gonna do, from my tone every zone, today's area that we're gonna be toning, we are going to be working on the bust, we're gonna be lifting and toning. So make sure you've warmed up and I'm ready to start toning you. So for today's workout, we are actually going to need to use a pillow or you could simply use a cushion. So if you need to, press pause, go and grab one and then we're going to come straight down onto the floor. So for the first move, we are going to use a cushion. So if you grab your cushion or pillow and then all you want to do is just kind of fold it up into a ball and then just take your arms so they're in line then with your chest and all we're doing is literally just trying to squeeze the hands together so they're aiming to touch through that pillow or through that cushion. And what we're doing, we're doing 20 repetitions here. This actually activates what's known as your pectorals major, which is your um, chest muscle, but we're also again working into the Cooper's ligament. And when you do this, you'll really kind of feel that through the bust, through the boobs. So we're just doing 20 of those and try and really squeeze that as tight as you can and then release. That's good, let's just keep going. Okay, and then, well done. All right, so from there now, let's come up over onto your hands and knees. And this time now, all we're gonna do with this is take one hand up and then one arm out to the opposite side. So we're just lifting one arm all the way up and we just lift out to the side. We're just doing 20 repetitions, going straight from one side to the other. Just lift it up, so it's straight out and back, keeping that going. Good. And whilst you're in this position, let's work those abdominals at the same time. And you do that easily just by keeping that belly button pulled in really tight to the spine. Again, I'm not using a mat, but I do recommend if you're at home, if you're on a wooden floor, definitely use a mat or a towel. That's it. And just, all right. So now from there, what we're going to do this time, come into a three quarter press up and we're just going to press down and push back. So we're just doing 10 repetitions here. So we just slowly lower. You want the hands so they're really nice and wide. That means then we're really activating into that chest muscle. And then, well done, keeping that going. And I have to admit now, I can't believe how dirty my feet are. Anyway, there we are. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do that all again. So let's roll back over onto your back. So we're gonna grab that cushion again. And you wanna really scrunch it up. So that means that's give us gives us something to push against. And then take the arms so they're in line with the bust. And now just squeeze. Squeeze that as tight as you can for me for 20 reps. Keep that going. That's good. Squeeze that nice and tight. Well done. So the point of this workout today is what I wanted to do for you is show you um, a really effective workout that's just gonna really help to lift the bust. And this is where we're doing this. What we're doing is we're shortening that um, the Cooper's ligament, which is responsible for the bust, and over a period of time, it lengthens. So what we're doing is we're going to shorten it. So it's a bit like an, um, a natural bra strap. Okay, that's good. So let's now change. We're going to come over back onto your hands and knees. And with this one, again, all we're going to do is we literally just lift that one arm up and out to the side. So we just left that through. This is also really nice because it gives your um, chest a really lovely stretch at the same time. Lift that up. And remember in this position, we can still activate working those abdominal muscles. So whilst you're there, also just think, lift your belly button, draw up tight to your spine. That's good. <clears throat> lift that up and back. And again, working that arm. So you keep a slight bend in the arm. It doesn't have to be dead straight. Lift that up and over. Good. Now from there, let's come to do that three-quarter press up. So coming into position and we're just doing 10 repetitions. So we lower that down and then push back up. Always, you always breathe out in the effort. So this one, you breathe out and breathe in. Breathe out and breathe in. Keep those tummy muscles tight. That's good. Think about where we're working. It's also really amazing to work through the back of the upper arms at the same time. That's good. Fantastic. 
Okay, so well done, that is your workout complete. But remember, if you didn't find it challenging, you know what I always say, you can just simply repeat that routine again because it is important to always make sure at the end of every workout that you have felt challenged. Um, once you have felt challenged, which you might find that just doing that routine that we've just done now is adequate for you, so that's perfect. But what is really important once you have finished is in one of these corners up here, there will be a link to my um, cool down stretches just follow those because what that helps to do is it just kind of realigns the body and it just makes sure you don't have any really um too much muscle soreness the following day um and also make sure you drink plenty of water and then as your trainer you can be accountable to me and let me know on social media that you've done the workout and you can use these tags on social media so you can do this one done then Lucy's squad and then Lucy's tones tone zone um, and if you like the workout please give it a thumbs up if you're not already don't forget to subscribe to my channel so then every day um, when I'm running these challenges you'll get a notification to come and start training with me so well done and I'll see you tomorrow because we're going to be toning a completely different zone if you guys follow my workouts, I've now put it together in an ebook because in my ebook, then I can cover nutrition as well, and it's got you video links because the results I cannot tell you that you guys have been sending in have been utterly amazing. And I think the reason being is these workouts are so easy to stick to because you can do them at home, they are just really super short, but they are super sculpting, super toning, they burn loads of calories. And what you're telling me is that you're enjoying working out for the first time ever and you know what the brilliant thing there is you are not going to yo-yo up and down your weight is then going to you are going to be able to maintain a healthy weight um, so in the book it has 26 different workouts you've got photos before and afters photos of the exercises you've also got video links so you can click straight onto a video plus there is a 14 day healthy eating plan along with a shopping list and lots lots more um, and it is available now on my website and it is ideal for absolutely everyone so if you're a complete beginner and you want to just learn how to be fit and healthy for the rest of your life to even if you're a fitness bunny then this book is ideal because I also have different variations for different fitness levels and it is available on my website which is lwrfitness.com